Peaceful greetings, everybody. I hope your day and your week has been going well. Welcome once again to Words That Inspire, a space where my goal is always to motivate, to inspire, to encourage, and to uplift you. So today I'm just going to be doing a really quick book review about a wonderful devotion that I was sent. The title is Loved and Cherished, 100 Devotions for Girls. The authors are Lynn Cowell and Michelle Nieter. And it's actually, um, I look, I read through it and it's a wonderful devotion that is targeted towards girls, teaching them about the importance of their self-value, their self-worth, helping them to deepen their relationship with God and to define themselves and who they are based on what God has said about them and not by what society says. So this is, this is the cover of the book. Um, there you go and those are the authors and you can see that the artwork is very, very pretty and something that will appeal to young girls um i loved this devotion because it fits into the theme we've kind of been addressing for the past few weeks month month and a half which is knowing your self-worth and i love that it targets young girls because if young girls learn about their self-value and about their self-worth and not allowing society or someone else or any other voice other than god to define who they are then they grow up to be women who know their self-worth and their self-value and who do not allow society to define them because i believe that a lot of us women grown women who are dealing with that particular issue, who are struggling to define ourselves and find our place and, and struggling with allowing society or other people around us dictate who we are. We are probably struggling because as young girls, a lot of us didn't get um, the foundation we needed uh, to help build us up to be the women we should be. So to start learning starting at a young age, I think is actually very wonderful the devotional is really um well written i believe it's simple enough for young girls to understand and actually it also speaks to women it's not just for for young girls like i learned a lot reading it and women grown women can um learn a lot from it as well each devotional has a bible verse it starts out with a bible verse uh, then it has the devotion on it and something like a, an assignment if you will or uh, a prompt that makes you reflect on what has happened and then a prayer section so i'm just going to skim through day one the title is loved from the very beginning the verse uh, the bible verse is genesis 127 so God created humans to be like himself. He made men and women. And uh, let me just skip down here to the second paragraph. Have you ever thought about why you were created? Well, from the very first verse of the very first book of the Bible, we get a glimpse into why God created you and me. Let's read a few verses from Genesis to find out more. And then it goes through a few verses from Genesis and um let me see the last i love the very last um the very last three lines of the devotional on day one i'm so glad that we can look to god's word to know what he says because in the end what our creator says about what he has created is most important if you have watched some of my previous videos then you've heard me say it, that the most important voice in terms of who i am and what i am and how i should live is god and no other no other person's opinion matters what he says about me is the most important and to see it echoed here just you know it feels really nice then there is the section uh for the assignment i call it the assignment but they call it living cherished in the devotional for day one and there is a list of words and you have to write out a list of words that describe how you are feeling about you, about yourself um and then talk to God about what you are feeling and what you are learning, especially when what you have learned about who you are differs from what you are feeling. And then there is a prayer section. So it's like that for um, for all the days, uh, for all hundred days. 
and so it's something mothers and daughters can wear together it's something that will make to me a great gift for a young girl it's uh, a conversation starter um because it encourages conversations in terms of oh this is what god says i am and this is what i'm seeing or experiencing that is different from that it or to me it opened the doors to a lot of different conversations between my mom and i as grown as i am so i i i believe and i imagine it to be the same for young girls and their mothers or the women in their lives so um i encourage you to go out and get it i am going to be posting a link to uh, where to get it or to the author's pages um, in the description below and I'm also going to be doing the giveaway so I'm giving away a copy of this and the instructions for the giveaway will be in the description box below as well and I am also going to put it up um, on my blog so whenever you get it I hope you enjoy it do not forget to come back and let me know what you think of it uh let me know um you know just give me your general thoughts about it and and what you gain from it really so uh, i look forward to hearing from you uh, as always i'm rooting for you i'm praying for you and i wish you the absolute best in all that you do remain blessed